Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another blind playthrough of the Parallel Investigator series. This time we are playing Parallel Wendy Adams and we are playing the challenge scenario that came with her pack, uh, which is the Red Tide Rising. Uh, I have set up the scenario already and built the deck and uh, let's first look at the deck that we built for this scenario. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamDB.com and here is my Wendy Adams uh, in Red Tide Rising deck. So I built the deck using a lot of cards that let me investigate or evade. So first off we have Hand Assets, uh, Ice Pick Level 3. This is a really powerful card to investigate. It is a cheap one, it comes into play fast and uh, you can dump it if you need to get two clues off of a location. Other than that it gives you a plus one boost which is really uh, useful because of when this uh, mediocre intellect so we are investigating with four when we have this. Of course uh, we are running the old keyring which is a staple survivor investigative card. Then uh, uh, because I decided to make this deck a uh, a uh, cat army deck, so I have two rods of animalism. These will let me play extra creature assets. So I have two extra ally slots for creature assets in play when I have this played out. And then, of course, we are running Miss Doyle and her three cats. Mysterious Ravens are useful. They are also creatures, so they combo with the Rod of Animalism. Uh, stray Cats are here to help me evade enemies that are too hard to evade by any other means. And you can do this as a fast action, so it saves actions. Uh, then uh, I added two copies of the Black Cat, which is a really powerful ally. It is a costly ally but still the benefits are really good with the black cat. Then I decided to try out the fool. If I get it in my starting hand, it's great. It will cheapen cards I am playing, so some economy here. Uh, then uh, we didn't want to leave out without any forms of fighting, so I have the enchanted bow. So, of course, if we have to play this, uh, we are uh, getting rid of the hand slot items, but I think Wendy can investigate without those also, with the help of some events or uh, skill cards I have. Then, of course, track shoes. These are like a staple card for any agility survivor. Uh, because we are adding some uh, curse tokens into the bag, I added uh, Plasmo, pa uh, Plasphemos Coven Covenant into the deck. Um, at deck creation you choose either Blessed or Cursed. I chose Cursed so I can have this in my deck. So this helps out if we draw those curse tokens. Belly of the Beast is always a good one with a high agility investigator. So if we evade an enemy uh, exceeding by two, so we grab a clue from that location, which is really nice. Uh, Faustian Bargain is a really good economy card and the downside is getting those curse tokens, but we have ways to uh, deal with those. Then uh, Lucky Level 3, always a good card. Uh, then uh, Another card to help us uh, defeat enemies if we need to. We have Waylay uh, times two. And Promise of Power, it is one of the most powerful skill cards out there for wild icons. And you add one curse token to the bag, which is a good trade off considering that we have ways to uh, deal with those curses. And Sharp Vision is another skill card which is really good if we are running the bow and we have can't play the other hand assets for investigating, so this should be good. Uh, this is a level uh, or 39 experience deck, so we have four basic weaknesses. We drew 
chronophobia, hypochondria, internal injury, and nihilism. So not the worst we could have. So I'm I'm happy with those. But yeah, that is basically the deck. We try to investigate and evade, and uh, if we need to, we have some ways to fight. So let's hop over back to the scenario. Okay, and as you can see, we have set up the scenario. We are playing the disappearance of Elena Harper scenario. I nearly forgot the name of the scenario. Uh, so we are using those locations of that scenario. And also we have the leads deck with the uh, suspects and hideouts. Uh, we already drew one um, card from the leads deck at the setup. So we got Zach Allen at the Fish Street Bridge, which also determines where we start the scenario. Then uh, Daisy, uh, I mean Wendy, uh, has the title Memento in play. It is a permanent and uh, comes with the parallel uh, Wendy Adams set. So this uh, lets us change um, or seal less or cursed tokens onto enemies. Uh, or not onto enemies because Wendy's own ability does that if we evade them. So we can use those sealed uh, curse or blessed tokens to stop a curse from being added to those, or not curse but doom being added to those enemies. So it uh, slows down the doom acceleration. Then uh, the idea of this scenario is basically the same as with the. Uh, uh, the, the disappearance of Elena Harper uh, scenario. So we are looking for suspects and uh, hideouts and adding those to the victory display. Uh, then uh, the way to do it is with the mysterious photo. So it has two sides. Either we are uh, parallel with the suspects or on the other side we can spend clues on a hideout location with no clues on it uh, up, uh, and we need to spend as many clues as the hideout has um, shroud value. Then uh, we also have set us up the angry mob which maybe comes in later, I don't know, I haven't played this before. Then we have monster enemies there, two night guns and uh, night terror or what or the skyter, I can't remember, but uh, when we would advance this, we shuffle one of those into the leads deck. So, uh, also, we have the searching for dad. So, we are searching for Wendy's dad in Innsmouth. So, uh, objective search the dad using mysterious photo. The fewer cards that remain in the leads deck, the better if it is empty. Advance. So, uh, we won't advance before we get there, but it is what it is. I, I think we try to get as many and maybe we have to resign if we can't um, get all of them. But we'll see how that goes. So that is basically it. We uh, I, I forgot to mention I also have Charisma. If I don't get the Rod of Animalism in play fast, then I at least have two slots for the creatures. So that is everything I wanted to say, so let's get started. And we are ready to begin, so let's draw our opening hand, let's see what we get. When this amulet enchanted bow strike at the fool, really good. I think I won't be needing the enchanted bow right away. When this amulet, I'm not going to count on that. I'll keep the sharp vision, stray cat and the fool. So we draw two cards, we get the rod of animalism, really good, and another enchanted bow. So maybe we are just playing the bow. We can, of course, if it has run out of uh, charge or yeah, charges, we can then uh, use other hand slot items to replace it. So shuffling the other cards into the deck. So we immediately get the pool into play. 
So the pool is when you play a card, exhaust the pool, uh, reduce that card's cost by one. So this is really good immediately. The let's see. Uh, so the pool is in play. So I think we'll just exhaust it to play the bow. So the bow takes up two hand slots and also one arcane slot and has three charges on it. So that is my first action. And it costs only two. Then um, maybe we'll just uh, focus on setting up. So I'll also or yeah, I'll play the stray cat down. We'll play the Rod of Animalism next turn. Or actually, I can save resources by not playing that this turn. So let's not play the cat yet. So first action actually would be I'm I'm just going to try and investigate. So I'm investigating. Uh, uh, actually, let's parlay with uh, Zach Allen. So we are parlaying four versus three. I think I won't commit any cards to this test. Well, minus one, that is enough. So we uh, take control of the clue. And uh, if there are no clues on him, add him to the victory display. Let's see. I think there was a restriction that if there are no uh, a suspect or and hideout cards cannot be added to the victory display except by using the mysterious photo. So I'm using the mysterious photo. So uh, exhaust mysterious photo. I did take a parlay action on a suspect enemy and okay. So I had to do that. If there is a suspect enemy with no clues on it and your location, you will get at your location, spend one clue per investigator as group and add that enemy. So we'll spend the clue. So uh, Zach Allen goes to the victory display and I'll just put them over there. So we already got one suspect there. And uh, let's see, I think now, because if there are no Forced when if there are no suspect or hideout cards in play, Wendy Adams must draw cards from the top of the lead deck until she draws a suspect or hideout card. And uh, contrary to the original, when we draw cards from the lead deck, it doesn't tell us to add any. Um, encounter cards in there. So that is a change. So we'll draw the top card and it is the Shore Ward Slums. Five shroud location with one clue. After you fail a skill test while investigating Shore uh, Ward Slums, place one doom on it and it gets minus two shroud for each clue on it and it comes into play over here. So we'll add connections. And uh, uh, I'm just double checking because it has a shroud of five, so it is a really tough one to get out. So let's see. Oh, equal equal to its clue value, not the shroud value. So that's that's fine. So uh, it has one clue. Uh, last action. I think I'll try to grab this clue from here just in case. Or we don't really need that. I'll just move here. And that is our turn. No enemy actions. Uh, we'll go to upkeep. We ready up. We draw a card. Internal injury. And at the end of your turn. Yeah, so we don't take the damage yet. 
and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the agenda. So one of three. First encounter card of the game is Lock Door. So attach to the location with the most clues. Without Lock Door, attach. So I'll put it in the Fish Street Bridge. Okay. So that is it. Uh, first action, I will use the Fool to play uh, Rod of Animalism down. Thing only one, and uh, now I have two additional ally slots which can only be used to hold creature assets. When you play a creature asset during your turn, reduce its assets cost, cost by one. So I will play the stray cat three. No, uh, we'll get rid of the internal injury first. So that was my whole turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card. We get the belly of the beast and we gain one resource. So quick turns. That was that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card is. Uh, hunting shadow. You must either choose one, spend one clue or take. One damage. We don't have any clues, so we have to take the damage, and that is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. First off, we will um, use the fool. Well, we don't need the fool yet. So we uh, first action play the stray cat now. So it's free because of the rod of animalism. Second action, we will uh, investigate. I'm using the sharp vision, so we are uh, five, uh, six versus five. So hoping to get lucky here. Well, it is a plus one, so we succeed by two. We will grab this clue. Then we may exhaust this and flip it. If you are at a high uh, yeah, this all would only give us a fast investigative action, so we don't need the exhausted part. I will uh, spend the clue and add this to the victory display, and now we are forced to move to the connect to a connecting location. So we'll go to Innsmouth Harbor. This is a three shard location with two clues. And uh, after you successfully investigate Innocent Harbor by three or more, look at the top card of the Leeds deck, then shuffle the Leeds deck. Okay. But now we have to draw a card from the Leeds deck, and it is Othella Gilman. So uh, she comes into play at the Gilman house. And uh, Parley spent three resources. Parley take one, control of one or more clues on Otera Gilman. Then, if there are no clues on her, at her the victory display. But we need to use the uh, mysterious photo to do that. So we'll spawn her there. So I think we are uh, heading there now. So we'll move through the Mars uh, refinery. It is a one shot location with one clue. We could draw cards, but I think we don't need that now. So that was my whole turn. Uh, we ready up. And uh, we draw a card. It is lucky. That's good. And gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are a doom, but uh, we won't advance. So, uh, first, when the, this agenda would advance by reaching its doom threshold, instead remove all doom in play and shuffle a random set aside monster enemy into the lead deck. Then, if there are no set aside monster enemies, advance to one B. So, we have these monster enemies here. I'm 
actually just thinking yeah so we get one at random we don't know what it is and it, it gets shuffled here okay and uh, then we draw the encounter card so another hunting shadow so ouch we are taking too much damage already um, I won't use the stray cat to take any damage yet so I'll, I'm at taking four so that is annoying but it is what it is so first off um, Oh yeah, uh, she has one clue on her. Okay, uh, well, uh, we will move. Then we will move again. Oh yeah, there's one uh, clue over here also. One clue over here. Well, uh, I think... We will do something different, so I will spend this action here to heal 2 damage. So we'll heal 2 damage as our last action. Uh, these are aloof, so it won't engage us, but next turn I think we'll uh, engage it and then belly of the beast, evade it and grab a clue. Or something like that, but that was our turn. No enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. Uh, we draw a card. It is the promise of power, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We uh, add a doom. And again, one of three encounter cards for this turn is in smart look. Uh, put in smart look into play in your threat area. You get minus one. Uh, Intellect and minus one sanity and you gain the deep one trait test will power three if you succeed this card in smart look So uh, we are exhausting this to Flip it And Then we will engage the enemy, we will uh, evade the enemy, I'm committing the promise of power, so we add one curse token to the back. I am uh, evading, uh, let's see, it is a three, so I'm evading eight versus three. It is a skull and it is X is the half the number of suspect unhided cards in the victory space. So it's one. So we succeed. Uh, we will play Belly of the Beast to grab this clue. And this enemy is evaded. Uh, last action. We will. Uh, parlay. We'll spend the three resources and grab this clue then we can spend one clue to add her into the victory display which triggers this we'll get a new hideout or suspect so we find the new church green so new church green comes into play here Oh yeah, no. adding those uh, connections there, it has two clues on it, so that is that, so after that uh, we have done our turn, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we ready up. We draw a card, the black cat, and we'll gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. 
we are a doom, so two of three encounter cards for this turn is Initiate of Dagon. Uh, any empty location spawning uh, while in Initiate of Dagon has no doom on it, it gets plus two fight and plus two evade. At the end of the round, if Initiate of Dagon is ready and there is no doom on it, face one doom on it. Uh, so I think we want to go and uh, uh, use the enchanted bow to defeat this enemy. We don't want to add any doom, so I'll place it in the Innsmouth Square. It is on the way to the future screen. And we can uh, spend resources to move. But yeah, that is it. Uh, first action, we'll use the Fool, we'll play the Black Cat and the Rod cheapen, cheapens it again, so we'll get it in play for free. So, reminder of the Black Cat, anytime you reveal a tablet, a Elder Thing or uh, Elder Sign symbol during a skill test, you may choose to use the following effect instead. Of that symbol's normal effect, so uh, those two black cat either takes one direct damage, one direct horror, or plus one plus five heal all damage and horror from black cat. So it it is a good damage so so that is good to have in play. Okay, well mm, that was our first action. We'll move over here. Uh, this engages us. We will fight. I'm using the enchanted bow and I will use my agility to fight. So we are fighting four versus uh, four. And it is an elder. So, uh, elder thing, uh, elder thing is uh, minus one. If you fail, shuffle the top card of the encounter deck into the lead deck. Well, uh, we'll lucky this, so we will succeed, and we also draw a card. We get Miss Doyle, great, and uh, this enemy is defeated. We uh, spent the one charge already, and I'll spend two resources to fast move over here. And that is our turn. So, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card, another enchanted bow, we gain a resource, and uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, and this pool ready is also. So let's go to the next round. We add another doom, so uh, instead of advancing the agenda, we'll shuffle one of these into the lead deck. So we all still have one left there. Okay, uh, first action, we will play Miss Doyle, I'll use the Fool, and uh, place Miss Doyle over here, or we'll put, put Miss Doyle over here, so uh, it only costs one resource, it costs the Fool and the Rod of Animalism chips and sit. then we shuffle Let's see. So after Miss Doyle enters play, search your bounded cards for Hope Seal and Augur. Randomly choose one to put into play and shuffle the two others into your deck. When Miss Doyle leaves play, find each of these assets, even if they are out of play, and remove them from the game. Okay. So we'll get Augur. So Augur lets us investigate, which is really good at this situation. We'll shuffle this into the deck. So Augur is in play. So now we have four cats in play, which is 
on. And we still have uh, one more slot for a creature ally. And this uh, that come with Miss Doyle don't take up an ally slot, so that is good. So, second action, I will investigate using Augur. So I'll exhaust Augur. And uh, we are investigating five versus No, uh, first we will try to get rid of this uh, in smart look because it lowers our intellect. So I'm committing the enchanted bow to the test. So we are uh, testing five versus three. Uh, so it's a curse, but I'll use the uh, blast devon's coven covenant. Uh, so it is a plus one instead. Then we reveal another token. So it is a minus three, but we are a plus one, minus three, so minus two. And we are testing five versus three. So we succeed to get rid of this. This returns into the bag because of the covenant. But at least we got rid of the insmat look. Last action. Now we use Augur. So we are investigating uh, 5 versus 3. It is an Elder Thing. Oh yeah, I forgot to put one more on Black Cat earlier. So again, Black Cat will change it to a minus 1, so we succeed. And we put one horror on Black Cat. So Black Cat is already helping us quite a bit, so we grab one clue from here. Then that is our turn, no enemy action, still got upkeep, we ready up. We draw a card, it is another lucky and we gain one resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, I think I forgot to draw an... Um, Encounter card last round, so we'll do that now. It is an initiate of Dagon, so I'll just place it on a location connected to this one. So this was last turn, so it also got one two on it at the end of the enemy phase, uh, end of the round actually. Yeah, okay, so this uh, will add one doom to the agenda. This round's encounter card is Hunting Shadow. Uh, I'll take the two damage and I'll put one damage on Miss Doyle, one damage on the Black Cat. Or I'll take one damage here. I'll take both of the damages here. I have plenty of health to go around. Okay, so we won't drop our clue. Uh, first action, I'm using Augur to investigate. 5 versus 3. Okay. 0. We'll grab this clue. Then uh, I'll have to use the mysterious photo to flip it. And um, I will spend those two clues to put this into the victory display, which will move us to the location of the initiate of Dagon. It will engage us. Uh, now it has doom on it, so it has to, a fight of two, so we are using enchanted bow to fight. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and we have to draw a card from here, so we get uh, Brian Burnham, so it uh, comes into play into the national, the first national grocery, with one clue on it, and discard cards from the hand at least, total three skill icons among them, uh, parlay, take control of one of uh, clues on Brian Burnham, so we'll have to 
get some cards before we head there. Okay, but uh, let's see. I what did I do? I investigated and uh, I think that was it. So uh, these were fast actions. So I will uh, second action. Uh, Use the bow, so we are fighting uh, four versus two. Or I'm using agility, so four versus two, it doesn't matter. Mm, cultist. Uh, minus two, minus four instead, if you are parling with a suspect enemy where we are not. So minus two is enough, we uh, defeat this enemy. We get rid of one Doom in play, which is good. Then... We will move... Where can we drop? No, uh, we'll do the... We'll actually do the double action next turn here. So I'm investigating just in case here. So investigating uh, three versus one. Minus two, we'll grab this clue also. Next turn we'll draw cards and start moving towards the grocery. Uh, no enemy actions, we'll ready up. Draw a card, it is Mysterious Raven, and we gain one resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, we had a Doom, encounter card for this turn is... Uh, Insmount Troublemaker location with the most clues, so it comes into play to Insmount Harbor. So it has Hunter, place one of your clues on your location, Pale, exhaust Insmount Harbor uh, Troublemaker. It does not ready during the next upkeep phase. This ability may be triggered by any investigator at connection location. Okay, so I think we'll slow that enemy down. No, no, we don't have time. Well, we can do that later. At least it doesn't spawn on us. So, first action we'll move. No, double action, we'll draw four cards. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, we have good cards. Then, uh, we have done this action. Uh, we will move. We'll spend two resources to move again over here. And the uh, first national grocery has one clue and three shroud. An action search the top six cards of your deck for an item, a card, and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. Uh, we really don't need that action yet. I will exhaust the photo to turn it around. So we can uh, parlay with a free action next round. That is our turn. This enemy hunts over here. Uh, then we ready up. We draw a card. Old key ring, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So now the last monster goes into the lead deck. Let's see. Okay. Then we have to advance 1B. So, too many questions. Uh, spawn to set aside angry mob enemy at Insmart Square. Exhausted. Place one clues on each suspect enemy and hideout location. Play. Okay. So, we place one clue on, on this enemy. No hideout in play and we get the angry mob. 
exhausted to his mouth square. So now, uh, let's see. Uh, because it is agenda 2, we need to spend two clues instead to uh, get this into the victory display. Okay, so we need to do this twice to get this done. So first action, uh, we'll do a free parlay. I'll discard seal and I'll discard uh, one mysterious raven. We'll get one clue. We'll do an action to parlay using the yeah, using the ability so we'll discard one waylay and uh, mysterious raven we have ogre in play we don't need the ravens that much so we'll get uh, grab this other clue then we'll spend two clues to add this uh, to the victory display. We'll draw the top card of the leads deck. It is Robert Friendly. It spawns at uh, Innsmouth Harbor, so unfortunately we need to now go there. Okay, well, we'll add that enemy there, or suspect rather. So, um, we still have two actions. Uh, so we'll move here. Uh, the mob is exhausted, so we'll spend two, clue, uh, two resources here to move here. And... Uh, We will, oh yeah, and uh, let's check, did I have to, Angry Mob cannot be defeated after Wendy Adams evades Angry Mob, she may discover one clue from its location, it suspect them, it loses aloof and enters play with one, plus one clues, each hideout location gets plus one clue value, okay, so I missed that, but uh, this enemy spawns with Clues. It doesn't have aloof. So I'm actually spending, as my last action, spending one to uh, do the evasion on this. So uh, place one of your. Yeah, we don't spend it, we place it over here. Place one of your clues to your location, Paul, I exhaust an instant troublemaker, it doesn't ready during the next upkeep phase, this ability may be triggered by an investigator at the connecting location. So this is double exhausted, I'll just mark it like so. And that was my turn. Mm. No enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we ready up. We draw a card, it is Faustian Bargain, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Uh, we ready these up by one step. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, yeah, the shroud value now is 9, so we add one tune to the agenda. Encounter card for this turn is on Wings of Darkness. There's Agility 4, if you fail, take one damage and one horror, then disengage from each none. Night God enemy engage with you and move to a central location. So this is the only central location. We are testing four versus four. And uh, I think I will just test it. I have the lucky in hand, so. Testing four versus four.
So it is a minus one. We won't trigger black cat, but we will uh, do lucky. We'll draw a card. We get when this amulet, and we succeed. So that is that. And just checking. This is you, May. So we don't have to do it. Okay, so that was the mythos. Uh, the mythos phase will go to the investigation phase. First action will move over here. This enemy engages us. We'll do the fast trigger parlay. So we are testing agility. Four versus two. Do we want to commit anything? No. Four versus two. It is a curse, but we'll use the covenant to change it to a plus one. So we're five versus two. Zero. This gets added to the deck, uh, to the bag. We'll grab one clue. Uh, we'll do another action. Uh, four versus two. I think I want to succeed, so I'm committing the Wendy's amulet, so we are 6 versus 2, so minus 4s are okay. Minus 1, uh, we succeed, so we'll use the ability on the mysterious photo to spend 2 clues to add this to the victor display. We already have one, two, three, four, five, six cars in the victory display, so half of the leads deck. Then we have to draw another card out of here. It is a nighting, hunting night gun, so I will discard the stray cat to automatically invade it, so it doesn't hit us. And uh, then we draw again because there still isn't a location in play or a suspect in play. So we find the house on the water street. The house on the water street in the play force after you successfully investigate the house on the water street by three or more. Either draw the top card of the encounter deck or shuffle that card into the leads deck. It has two clues on it. So we are heading there next. Um, getting a bit tight here, so I'll shuffle these over here. And we'll, yeah, let's just move these like so. Two clues there. Oh, yeah, and it gets an extra clue because of the agenda. So that is that round. Um, we'll go to enemy phase. This enemy hunts over here. This enemy is ready, so this enemy engages us again. And that is that round. So I think we are running. Uh, so. We'll gain a resource and draw a card. We get another stray cat, which is huge for the auto evade. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Mm, we add a doom. Encounter card is uh, obscuring fog. So my location gets plus two shroud. It isn't a problem. So. I think, well, we are running into trouble, so I'm evading first this enemy. We are evading four versus... Four versus one. It is an Elder Sign, so we heal the Black Cat. It is a plus five, so we succeed, and uh, 
this enemy is evaded and uh, then we'll move up by one then we will actually do Yeah, we'll exhaust this. So we can investigate fast actions next round. So I will last action spend one clue to exhaust this again twice. And uh, that is it. So That is everything we can do. So we will uh, go to the enemy phase. So this enemy. Uh, I have to think. Did I forget to? I think I forgot to take an. Oh no, we got the obscure call. Yeah. So uh, the mob moves over here. Hits us for one damage and one horror. Uh, I'll take it on Miss Doyle, uh, at least the damage. And I'll take both. And that is it. And it doesn't do attacks of opportunity, so we can investigate while it's here. So that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the end of the enemy phase so our the upkeep phase so we ready up cards uh, we draw a card abandoned and alone so remove all non weakness cards in your discard pile from the game if no cards were removed by this effect shuffle this card back in your deck otherwise take three direct horror so we'll take three horror and uh, these are removed from the game we just set them aside. They are not in the game anymore. And that is it. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a Doom. Encounter card for this turn is... Locked door. So we have a locked door here. So that is really bad wanted to get these clues off of here and get away so I think uh, we'll have to deal with the locked door somehow uh, first off I will play uh, stray cats just so we can exhaust the night count on the following turn so it doesn't cost anything because of, because of this. Then we will, uh, and we are not taking attacks of opportunity, so we will uh, break the lock door and just double. So it's a four agility test. I'm using the waylay. So I'm six versus four break the lock door. Minus two, we break the lock door. I would have rather used the waylay to defeat the night count next round, but it is what it is. Uh, uh, let's think for a bit, uh, moment here now. Mm. So we will do the basic Investigate action as a fast action. I am investigating three versus one. It is a minus two, so we'll grab a clue. We'll use Augur for the next test. Five versus one. Minus three. Uh, we still succeed by two, but 
we don't succeed by three or more so we don't add anything to the bag and that is our whole turn uh, let's see do we want to spend the stray cat to exhaust the mob I think we can tank these damages for a bit more so uh, we'll go to the enemy phase uh, the night count hunts here, engages us, uh, they both hit for uh, one damage and one horror each. I'll take the horror on myself. And two damage here, I'll actually just put everything here. I'll do it like this. No, uh, I'll do it like this because uh, I don't want to be left with two health or two horror. If I hit something that deals me two direct horror, and I'll die. So that is it. Uh, no other stuff happening. We'll go upkeep. This readies. This readies. And this readies. We draw a card. Sharp vision. We could have used that last round and we gain one resource so that is that round let's go to the next round uh, we add a doom and counter card for this turn is uh, fog over instant test uh, intellect 3 if you succeed either take one horror or put fog over instant into play next to the agenda deck if you fail to both its location gets plus one shroud and at the end of the round we discard this so I'm testing uh, 4 versus 3. I think I won't commit anything. Well, I'll commit the Faustian bargain because we don't need those resources. So, 5 versus 3. Minus 1, uh, we succeed. So, we uh, raise the shroud by 1 this round don't want to take horror. Okay, uh, first action is to uh, evade hunting night guns. I'm evading uh, four versus one. Or do... Hmm. We could fast action stray cat and uh, then do we, we, we have three actions then we can um, re-investigate, grab the clue, use the clue, then we still have three actions, we can, um, well we'll move, yeah, I'll, I'll use this because we want to fast action um, evade the troublemaker. So this is a minus one, but it's minus two because we are evading the night hunting night count. So still we succeed, and uh, this is evaded. Uh, we'll do the re-investigate, investigating uh, three versus two. Minus one, uh, th that was a risky investigate, but we'll use these three to put this into the victory display, which means we'll move here, these both move here, because I can choose to a, a connecting location where they move. We'll draw top card from here, which is choice little and uh, choice horns at the bookshop, so a uh, parlay test. Uh, will power 3, if you succeed, take control of one of her on clues on choice little, then if there are no clues, add her to the victory display. So she spawns at the little bookshop, and we are heading there next, because we want to get rid of all of these enemies that are piling up over at this end. So uh, fast action, we will discard Stray Cat to automatically evade 
this enemy will move. We'll spend two resources to move three. And uh, it doesn't have a loof there, so we don't want to move there yet. But I think I'll try to grab this clue from here. So I'm using Augur. And it is uh, 5 versus 3. Uh, 5 versus 4, because we have the fog of over in smart in play. 0, uh, we'll get this clue. And that is our turn. Mm, this goes away. Uh, this readies, this readies, and uh, this hunts over here. We'll draw a card, another old keyring, and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, yeah, we forgot to ready this, so I'll ready it now. Okay, so we add a doom, 5 of 9 encounter parties, uh, furtive locals, test um, intellect 3, if you succeed either take 1 damage or put furtive locals into play next to the agenda deck if you fail to both. At the end of the round discard 1 copy of furtive locals. Okay, okay so we cannot parlay, so mm, we will test uh, 3 versus 3. I'm committing this, so 4 versus 3. Zero, so we'll take one damage. I will take it on this. No, I have to take it on myself. But uh, we won't. Well, we are able to parlay this round. So I will change this to the other side. Then we will move to the little bookshop. So after you fail a skill test while investigating the little bookshop, shuffle the top card of the encounter deck to the leads deck. We don't need to investigate here. We could later, but not now. So yeah, that choice has two clues, so okay. So first action, we will parlay, or second action will parlay, we are parlaying uh, 4 versus 3, so we, this is, uh, yeah, we are starting to get to the risky places, but it is a minus 1, we'll grab one clue, last action, we will parlay, Elder sign, so we heal uh, the black cat, that is really good, uh, we get a plus 5, so we can grab this, we can use the old photo to put this into the victory display, and uh, then we draw a new card, uh, esoteric order of Dagon, it is a three shot location with two clues because of the agenda, after the last remaining clue is discovered from Esoteric Order of Dagon, remove the top card of the leads deck from the game without looking at it. It is connected here. So that was a lucky break with the location. Two clues there. And we'll go to the enemy phase. Uh, let's see, this hunt here, this hunt here. We'll ready up, draw a card, gain one resource, that is that round, yeah, just double checking I did everything, okay, yeah. so that is that round, let's go to the next round, we had a doom, so 6 of 9, we only have a few more turns left, uh, we get crypt chill, Test uh, willpower 4. If you fail, choose and discard one asset you control. If you cannot take two damage instead. So I'm testing willpower 4. Mm, uh, we can 
lose the road of animalism at this point. Well, it's a zero, so we pass, so we don't have to discard anything. So, first action. We'll move to here. We will uh, use shop vision to investigate twice or uh, for that we will exhaust this to turn it around so shop vision we are investigating six versus three It's a minus four, so unfortunately we fail, so we wasted the sharp vision. So we'll investigate again using longer. So five versus three. Minus one. We'll grab one clue. We'll have to do this next round. So uh, then We'll go to the enemy phase. These enemies hunt. One, two, three, one. Okay, so they hunt over here. This enemy hunts over here. And we ready up. We draw a card. Hypochondria. If I take damage, I'll take a direct four. That is not nice. And we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So seven of nine encounter parties. Uh, well, uh, intellect free test. If I fail, I take a damage. So I would take also a horror. And. Uh, If I fail or I can't par level, that's okay. I'm testing uh, four, uh, three versus three. Minus one, we fail. So we can't parlay. Uh, we'll take one dairy damage. And we have to take one horror. And it's a direct horror for the hypochondria. So we can't um, parlay. I will do a free investigate. So I'm using Augur. Five versus three. It is a skull, and uh, how many do we have? Pick too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a minus four. We fail, unfortunately. Mm. Then we have to investigate again. Well, it's a elder sign, so we get a plus five. So we grab this. Uh, so, after the last remaining clue is discovered from the necessary board of Dagon, remove the top card of the elite deck from the game without looking at it, so we lose one of these. This removed from the game. That actually helps us, because now the elite deck is slimmer. And this uh, will spend uh, two clues to add this to the victory display. Moving down here. Uh, we will. Oh, yeah, now we have to reveal a new card. It is the Barnabas Mars, so it spawns at Mars Refinery. Uh, two clues. So now we have to some way get over there. So, I'm actually spending one clue. Uh, 
and exhausting this enemy so we don't get both of them at, on us at the enemy face and that is everything we can do uh, enemy face this enemy hunts here this enemy hunts here hits us for one damage and one horror and we have to take to take them here but we have to take a direct horror so we are one horror away from getting defeated which is really bad and that is it we ready up this we draw a card track shoes a bit late to the party and gain one resource so uh, that is that round is ready we'll go to the next round so we add one doom to the agenda we are at eight of nine so this is the last turn Encounter card is false lead. I have no proofs. It can search. Uh, initiate of Dagon. I'll spawn it at the. For, it's not an empty location. Damn it. Well, I'll just spawn it way over here. And that is it. So this has gone away. So um, we don't have enough time to go. Harley with Barnabas Mars, and I think usually resigning is better than letting the Doomcock run out and letting the agenda to advance. So I think this round we will bait move. Oh, damn. Yeah, we, we don't have enough time. Okay, so we can move with the angry mob. But if I play the track shoes, that's one action. Then I'll move, use track shoes to move again and resign. So that is our only hope. So yeah, I'll play the track shoes. Put it over here. And I'll use the fool to cheapen it. Then I'll move, and the mob moves with us. And uh, I'll trigger track shoes to and uh, use the belly of the beast to commit it to the agility test. So we are five versus three. If we fail this, we can't resign. So, minus two, uh, we are able to double move with the track shoes. <laughs> okay, oh. yeah, I just made it difficult for me, but no matter, I could have just double moved. I, I'm stupid. But yeah, we will resign as our last action. So, we are done. Nothing else is happening. We'll see what the resolution is. So, uh, if no resolution was reached, and because each investigator resigned, proceed to resolution 1. You didn't find Dad, but you were able to find the next best thing, the man in the brown derby. You approach a casually, hoping he'll ignore you like everyone else tends to do, so you can confront him. You follow him into a dark alley and immediately realize he's leading you somewhere hidden away from crying eyes. Didn't think you'd follow me, he says, once you're alone. Questions come pouring out of you. Does he know your father? Where is he? Why the photo? What is the red tide? But he simply holds up a finger to his lips. Shh, kid, you're gonna get me killed. His eyes removes his cap and runs his tr uh, trembling fingers through oily hair. Look, all I can tell you is your dad. He fell in with some bad people, some really scary people. But he wanted, uh, uh, he wanted out, and the only way out, he grimaces and shakes his head. You gotta understand, he can't come home. You'd be in danger, so would he. But he still wanted you to know that he loves, uh, that he loves you. So you wipe up straight here that threatened 
starts the, to crawl down your cheek. The man looks terrified. He's either a world-class actor or he's telling the truth. You ask him one last question. Who are the bad people Dad fell in with? But the moment you ask, he shakes his head and backs away. I've already said too much. Is, is the, uh, or I already said too much is the last thing he says before he flees. Ignore the victory X value of each suspect and hide that card in the victory display. Instead, Wendy Adams earns one experience for each card in the victory display beyond three, the third. So, uh, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we get a whopping six experience, which is, I think, really good. Then each other investigator earns one experience for each card in the victory display beyond the fifth, so others would get four, which is also really good. And then uh, we didn't get defeated. If Wendy Adams was not defeated, she may either upgrade Wendy's amulet to its advanced version or downgrade the advanced version abandoned and alone, so we would be able to downgrade the weakness. So that went pretty well, in my opinion. Uh, we got nine of the 12 um, suspects and hideouts into the victory display. We were able to evade enemies and defeat enemies that we needed to. The deck worked pretty well. The cat army is a fun <laughs> deck to play for sure. Uh, a costly inexperience, but it is what it is. But that was uh, Red Tide Rising with uh, Parallel Wendy Adams. Thanks for watching and until next time.